All right. Well, I want to give an update. This is the uh, broken motor from the last mile run. Um, these have been a huge bear to get a uh, part. I'll show in the other videos, but uh, had to just use a series of shims and wedges to drive them apart. Uh, this is not <laughs> the way to do it, um, but unfortunately, it just it's what ended up taking it. Last time I got the onesies stuck, I had to cut them across with a plasma torch. So the fact that I was able to get this separated is an improvement. All right, my my assistant here will raise it up. We'll take a look inside. Oh, forgot to unhook the cables, but you can see. Oh, you can't see because it's not focused. My phone is... There we go. So, you can see there. I generously coated this with anti-seize, uh, but the problem is the tolerance between the coupling and the shaft is less than like half a thou. So any anti-seize you put on there just ends up getting scraped off. You can see inside there. Peak still comes comes out. Let's try and get that to focus. The answer is no. But the key is not damaged. A lot of carbon on it. A lot of carbon in there. I'm not sure how that all is happening. But anyway, you can see the menagerie of shims and um wedges that I had to use. I broke off my pickle fork doing this, but it's just a matter of wedging it over and over, putting more shims and going again. Looks like I did not break the bottom. So what's happened in the past is the this aluminum bell would actually crack right along that seam there. You try to separate this apart. Uh, that didn't happen this time apparently. But anyway, I've got it separated. So the big thing is that motor's toast. But uh, the trans warp, you have to focus, is still good. I can dry run that. I can, uh, I'll check and look at the shaft, but I, it looks like I should be able to reuse it. And then I'll have another spare motor. Hopefully I won't need it, but I'll have it. Oh, also wanted to show, done more widening of the tunnel. Uh, so I actually had to cut a seam uh, there so when I jacked up here and here that it actually gives room for the metal to stretch and grow and then that relieved it and gave it plenty of room well plenty relatively plenty of room for these giant motors but uh, I'll have to, I'll test fit that next fortunately I was trying to be careful but I end up nicking a few wires for insulation just trying to cut through that sheet so that's why that blue tape is there anyway we'll try and uh, get this uh, the quad motor is installed.